guys, today we're gonna to make a video on jackhammers. All right guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about jackhammers. Um, I know everyone's heard talks about the jackhammer chatterbaits, and you know, everyone's always afraid to pull the trigger about how expensive they are. So in today's video, what I'd like to do is pick one jackhammer chatterbait and give you multiple uses for it. So today, the one that I've chose to use, jackhammer half ounce, be height the light. The reason I like this color so much is it's probably one of the more versatile ones that they make. Um, this one, and then they also make a green pumpkin shad, which is pretty much the same thing, minus the chartreuse and the belly. So, I do a lot of clear water fishing up here in Michigan. Um, I love throwing jackhammers, they're a really great big fish bait. Now, I go from a lot of, I do fish a lot of clear water, but I also do fish some dirty water as well. And the reason why I like this one is because it's very versatile based on the trailer that you choose to use on it. So I've got four different kinds of trailers here and I'm gonna go through each one and why I like to use each one the way they are. If I could separate them, I could go one for clear water only. I would use this one. It is a Gary Yamamoto Tennessee Shad. Um, that'd be my clear water only one. And the reason why I like that is when you pair it with this, it kind of gives that appearance of either a golden shiner or in the summer when you've had bluegills up on the sand flats for a while, um, they start to get a little bit of a lighter color. When you pair this with this uh, jackhammer, it kind of gives it a little bit of a lighter color to it. It looks like some of them bait that's been up and sitting on the sand flats for a while. The next two would be mostly bait fish imitators. Um, if I know they're feeding on perch a lot, I'm going to go with this one, it's a green pumpkin with a chartreuse belly. That paired with this, it makes a great perch imitator. Um, and the reason I'll keep throwing it when this is paired with it is especially if I have perch following this to the boat, that tells me that perch are up and perch are schooling fish. So if they start following this, I know I'm gonna get bit on uh, from nice bass on this color. Another one, um, I throw a little bit around here, but it has played other places in the uh, country. Is this one? It's green pumpkin with a pearl belly. I'll throw that one if I want to add white to this, just for um, just for shad imitators. Or once again, if I'm kind of trying to go along the lines of what I had with the Tennessee shad, and that is just lighter color bait fish. If I want to just lighten up that skirt a little bit, I'll throw this on there, and that makes a a little bit more of a whiter belly, not as dark. Now if I'm gonna fish in dark water, I'm gonna throw it just on a plain green pumpkin. Now green pumpkin I don't always use for dark water, but I do about 90% of the time. Um, I will throw it in clear water situations when you see bluegill up, but they're darker in color, that normally means they've just moved up from deep water, um, and or they've been just pulled out of the weeds, something to where they've camouflaged themselves a little bit of a darker tone. So that's where I'll throw the green pumpkin, solid green pumpkin in clear water, but for the most part, I'll throw this in darker, dirty water because this makes a, just a darker profile going through the water. And paired with this, it you know you don't have to worry too much about the chartreuse and white belly. It adds just a little bit of a pop to it, but for the most part, when you add this together, it just makes for a darker colored bait. I will throw the green pumpkin chartreuse in darker water as well if once again I'm trying to imitate perch or if I just want to add a little bit more chartreuse to the body just for a little added contrast in the dirtier water. Um, overall I like throwing jackhammers. Um, they're great big fish bait especially in cold water. I like throwing them in about, I'll throw them all year round but for the most part the parts where they shine is in the upper 40s and the low 50s and I throw it on a seven foot ALX Viro series sling rod. Uh, this is a glass rod so it loads up on the grass nicely. I have that paired with a Bass Pro Pro Qualifier Reel. It's a 6.8 to 1 gear ratio and I throw this on 
20 pound fluorocarbon. Um, and that just seems to be a great combo for ripping it out of the grass and everything like that. And this is pretty much one of my favorite colors that I use year round anyways. And that's what made me decide to make this video. Because I work in a retail store. People always complain about the prices of these things. And I do think that they work. I do think that they make a difference. And if this helps somebody make that decision and only be able to, you know, if you only can buy one, I would pick this specific color. And then that way you can make four different looks out of just one bait instead of buying just a fire craw, um, just a white one. You know, especially if you live up north here where the water's clear and the fish are a little bit bigger. 